Hi, I'm Gio Herrera and thank you for watching my YouTube channel Gio Zavaya How To. Today I'm going to show you two methods on how to upgrade your Avaya AVP server. Method 1 is going to be via CLI and method 2 is going to be via System Manager which is Avaya's preferred way to upgrade your AVP server. Let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start by upgrading our Avaya AVP server via CLI. Download the latest AVP software version from Avaya. I've already downloaded the software ahead of time. If you would like to know how to download Avaya software, take a look at my video Deploying Avaya System Manager 7 OVA Part 1. I have posted the link below. Once you've downloaded the patch, extract the contents. I already extracted the contents ahead of time. Click on the folder and you will see another zip file. This zip file contains the index.xml file VMware looks for when it tries to install the patch. We are going to upload this zip file to AVP. You can upload the file using the user interface of AVP or by using WinSCP. I'm going to use WinSCP because I find it a lot easier this way. Before you can use WinSCP, you have to enable SSH on your AVP server. Log in to your AVP by using a web browser and type https colon forward slash forward slash your IP address forward slash UI and hit enter. Then you will get the logon screen. Put in your username and password. Once you're logged in, make sure your host is chosen, then go to actions, services, and enable SSH. Now you can log off the user interface. Next, open your WinSCP application and log in to your AVP. Once you're logged in, Click on the temp folder and copy your AVP zip file to the temp folder. Next, I have logged on to the LSP running on this AVP server and I'm going to shut it down by going to administration, server maintenance, shutdown server. I'm going to unclick restart server after shutdown and then I'm going to click the shutdown button. Are you sure you want to shut down the server? I'm going to click on OK. Server has been shut down. Next, we're going to put our AVP host in maintenance mode. Right click on host and click on enter maintenance mode. Are you sure you want to put this host in maintenance mode? Click yes. Now I'm going to go back to my mremote ng application where I have already logged in into my AVP server. Next, we're going to run the following command ESXCLI space software space VIB space update space minus D and the location of your zip file. Then hit enter. This command has run the upgrade process and as you can see on the message up here it says the update completed successfully but the system needs to be rebooted for the changes to be affected. We're going to go ahead and reboot our VM by typing reboot. Our AVP has finished rebooting and I am now logged in into AVP's user interface. Under version number I can see that I am now on the latest build. If I click on virtual machines I can see my LSP is up and running. This completes our tutorial on how to upgrade your AVP server via CLI. Next I'm going to show you how to upgrade the AVP server via system manager which is Avaya's preferred method. When we upgraded our AVP server via CLI, we had to extract the zip file that we downloaded from Avaya because that zip file contained another zip file that we needed to use in order to upgrade our AVP server via CLI. When we upgrade our AVP server via System Manager, we don't have to do that. We can use the original file we downloaded from Avaya's website to upgrade our AVP server. Log on to your System Manager and once logged in, go to Services and click on Solution Deployment Manager. If you don't have SDM connected to PLDS, click on download management in order to upload the zip file we downloaded from Avaya's website. Click on select files, download details, make sure your source is selected to my computer and then click download. On the next screen, under software library, ensure you select the SMGR default. Under product family, choose the product, in our case is going to be AVP. Under device type, you have two options, choose ISO. On the software type, choose ISO as well, you only have one option. Under file version, Version, type in the name of the file you're uploading. Under hardware compatibility, type yes, file size, and then browse to the location where you have your file stored. Once you've done that, click on commit, and this should start the upload process. Once you're done uploading the software, go to VM management, click on the location folder of where your AVP is located. Make sure that you're under host and choose your AVP server, then click on more actions and choose AVP update slash upgrade management. Once you get to this screen, under select patch file, put the full path of where your upgrade file was stored. Here's the link of where system manager stores the zip file you just uploaded.
Once you've typed the full path, click on update host, accept the license terms, and the AVP server upgrade has started. When you upgrade the AVP server via system manager, you don't have to shut down your LSP ahead of time because SDM automates that process. It also takes care of putting AVP in maintenance mode. In order to check the progress of the upgrade, click on the status details. Per the status page, our AVP upgrade has completed. Next, I'm going to click on refresh. It's done refreshing. As you can see, we are now on the latest version. This completes our AVP upgrade tutorial. Thank you for watching this video and I hope it was helpful. Please subscribe and stay tuned for more videos.